ladies and gentlemen, this is a study that came out and it is confirming that artificial intelligence, AI, face recognition systems are racist. Okay, which we knew, but you know how it is. They gotta do a study before anything can be confirmed. Go figure, right? MIT Technology Review, this is December 20th, 2019, a US government study confirms most face recognition systems are racist. But here's the problem. They've known this for 10 years, y'all, and it's still going on. Almost 200 face recognition algorithms, a majority in the industry had worse performance on non-white faces, according to a landmark study. What they tested, the US National Institute of Standards and Technology tested every algorithm on two of the most common tasks for face recognition. The first known as one-to-one -one matching involves matching a photo of someone to another photo of the same person in a database. This is used to unlock smartphones or check passports, for example. The second, known as uh, one-to-many, Searching involves determining whether a photo of someone has any match in a database. This is often used by police departments to identify suspects in an investigation. Agencies studied are four-face data sets currently used in U.S. government applications, mugshots of people living in the U.S., application photos, from people applying for immigration benefits, application of photos from people applying for visa and photos of people as they cross the border into the US. In total, the data sets included 18.27 million images of 8.49 million people. What they found, NIST, shared some high level results from the study, the main ones. So the first is the one-to-one -one matching. Most systems had a higher rate of false positive matches for Asians and African-Americans faces over Caucasian faces, sometimes a factor of 10 or even a hundred. In other words, they were more likely to find a match when there wasn't one. So they're matching you up. And ladies and gentlemen, we have to pay attention to this because in some cases, the wrong people will be apprehended and we know who the wrong people always gonna be. It's gonna be us. We already know this. And, and black people have already ran into problems out here with AI facial uh, recognition. It's already happening, it's been happening. Two, this change for face recognition algorithms developed in Asian countries, which produced very little difference in false positive between Asians and Caucasian faces. Algorithms developed in the United States were all consistently bad at matching Asian African Americans and Native American faces. Native Americans suffered the highest false, uh, uh, false positive rates. Because <sighs> this is going to be nothing but a headache, because they are planning on using this in the future. And you see the problems now. It's been 10 years and they have not ironed these problems out yet. Um, and four, one-to-many matching systems had the worst false positive rates for African-American women, which put this population at the highest risk of being falsely accused of a crime. And we know that is happening without the damn algorithms. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Why this matters. 
The use of face recognition systems is growing rapidly in law enforcement, border control, and other applications throughout society. While several academic studies have previously shown popular commercial systems to be biased on race and gender, NIST's study is the most comprehensive evaluation to date and confirms these earlier results. The findings called in co into question these systems should continue to be so widely used. It's now up to policymakers to figure out the best way to regulate these technologies. NIST also urges face recognition developers to conduct more research into how these biases could be mitigated. The problem is they're not clearing it up, ladies and gentlemen, and face recognition is growing in this country without them even fixing it. So as we move into the future, you're going to hear about a lot more black people getting stopped, refusing access to places, and all kinds of issues are going to come up. Even you getting tied to a crime that you never committed, already saying it, it's doing it now. This is why you have to pay attention to these types of stories. You can't ignore this stuff. And we need to be diligent about them even fixing this stuff or not using it until it's completely fixed. But we know why the system is racist is because the people that are designing the software are racist. Okay, it's common sense, but this is going to be a huge problem as this AI is more widespread around the country. They're going to be using this everywhere eventually. And you already see law enforcement is matching up wrong people to crimes committed. Now, I, I do understand. I, I read through an article about a month ago where this black woman got accused of a crime in a state that she never been to. And now I'm seeing it, it, it has a, a huge issue when it comes down to the black female face. And now I fully understand how that could happen. But y'all, please tell me what you think of this study they did where they find all these biases in face recognition. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.